if we can uh, retain our language, that's a huge task because it isn't, people just don't speak it anymore because your teachers doesn't talk that, your preacher doesn't speak Caddo, your uh, parents don't speak Caddo, it's not spoken in the home. So how do you take on such a huge, there's no books that teach you how to teach Caddo. Um, so there's no materials. There's lots of archiving from researchers, but how do you learn Caddo and teach Caddo off of that? You have books on how to teach French or how to learn Spanish. It's not just old documents written in Spanish that you have to go and try to learn Spanish from. And just because that somebody is a, can speak English doesn't mean they can go out and teach English. So just because somebody can, we, we have three people left that can speak Caddo, doesn't mean that they're Caddo teachers. So, and that is true of any native language. When I tell stories, I incorporate the language into the stories. Um, I do say them in English because I do not speak Caddo, uh, except for a few phrases and a few words. And um, they, but anything I learn, I try to incorporate into the stories. And so that way, anybody that comes after me, hopefully they'll already have that and they can go on to the next phase of learning a second language. So, and it won't be so hard for them. They'll already have the sounds, they'll already have basic words, basic things, and so they can expand upon it. So those are the things that I hope happen from what I'm doing and, and that, I, that things continue on.